just about to start on the mailbag, um, although I realized that I uh, came in to medicate the kittens this morning. They were all eating breakfast, and I didn't want to interrupt because eating is very important, especially for sick kittens. And then I never came back and medicated them. <laughs> so I'm going to do that real quick, and this will just be forever part of today's mailbag archive. Shouldn't take me very long to do. I won't hold us up too much with that. We got a good amount of stuff today, um, but um, we're still probably going to have to split it up, uh, I think. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky and get through it all, but I'm not going to rush. And, uh, well, I'll have to go over all this again in just a minute because, well, it's just about 10 o'clock. I guess I can just tell you guys. Anybody that intends to catch every second of what I'm saying is already tuned in, I bet. So, um... Um, we got uh, we got a lot of stuff from all of you this week, and it's wonderful. And we actually last week we I kind of teased this a little bit last week because um, we got some stuff from Leopard's Spots on the chat, Leopard's Spots, and she had sent uh, just a, an, an incredible amount of stuff, including this really beautiful air purifier that we're already using in here. Um, but she sent some other stuff, too, that we put off until this week because there was a piece missing. And now that piece has arrived along with a bunch of other stuff also, I believe, from Leopard Spots. So um, the point of all that is, first off, thank you so much, Leopard Spots. Very, very generous. Just amazingly generous. And uh, secondly, that uh, if there is stuff that's going to have to get bumped today... Um, I've already set that stuff aside. We're going to bump that in just order to do what what's could almost be like a leopard spot special tomorrow morning. Um, although if there's other stuff that we have to cover tomorrow morning, we'll just include it all. Uh, what I think I just neglected to say a second ago is that uh, we have a cutoff time today of 11:15. So even with all the stuff we've got, um, we've got to we've got to cut it a little shorter than we usually might. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, hang on. Sorry about that. Um, all right. I'm trying to think if there was something else that I intended to say to you guys. I'm trying to do too many things all at once here. I hope you all got to see last night's uh, stream, the close-up stream. It wasn't quite a live stream, but it was pretty cool, I think. There was some fun stuff in there. If I do another one like that, I promise I'll talk a little more during the stream and not just in the voiceover. Um, I, I got that note from everybody, so thank you for that. Uh -oh. Somebody spit up their antiviral pill after all. I can't be completely sure who, so that's all right. Missing one's not going to be the end of the world. One last pill, then I'll bring the mail in, and then we'll really get rolling. And I'm sorry for the late start, everybody. Here we go. 
go. There was actually a package in the mail this week that did not have our full address on it. It just said Kitten Academy. And it got to a post office that wasn't even the Fox Lake post office. It was just near us. And they're like, oh, we know these people. They go to Fox Lake. How cool is that? It's almost like being famous. Which we're not. Oh, Ari, you don't run in here and then hiss at the kittens. You started it. You're the one that ran in here. There was one letter today. Oh, huh? there was there was one letter today, right? Did I? I think it's in there. Did I get it? Okay, good. Only one actual letter today. Everything else was packages of some type or another. That's rare. I would be worried that uh, Elso Cat was not okay because we get a letter from Elso Cat uh, every week, but. Uh, see me on the camera and then we will get rolling I think hang on one second here folks okay where am I at here literally where am I at Not bad. Okay, I'm right in the right spot. So um, I had some things that I had in mind to talk to you guys about before we got really rolling on the mailbag, and as usual, completely gone everything that I had planned. So we will just jump right into this pile and get moving. And when I think of them later, I'll interrupt myself and we'll talk. Okay. Everybody, this reindeer. So this reindeer has been sitting around in the Kitten Academy since last year, and everybody calls it the creepy reindeer, and it does look pretty creepy sometimes. So anyway, I just got a message about it. So I'm going to put him right there in front. Oh, this is just a letter. I thought there was a thing in here because it's in this fancy, fancy envelope. No, there's more letters than you thought. Yeah, okay. Anyway. All right. Dear Mr. A and DJ. No sads, politics, or hairballs directly included. That's wonderful. I, so this is right off the bat. You can tell this is somebody who gets it, right? 
Being able to participate in mailbag in a meaningful and unique way is very special. It is understandable that the gifts at times seem too much when the room is filled to the rafters, but this is a way we can connect with you and DJ on a more personal level. You may have noticed how attached we all get to the classes and faculty. I don't think it's in our nature as cat lovers to be any less attached to the people. In giving your spare time tirelessly to the moms and kittens online, you also open your home to complete strangers to observe not only the classes, but you and DJ. The adventure is meant to be about the kittens, their moms, and the faculty, but from my point of view, it's also about the people who inhabit the space and the story. Watching you and DJ with the moms and the kittens is just as much part of the experience as watching the feline antics. I will never forget the wonder and awe in your voices when Rue gave birth on DJ's lap. I never tire of watching the mailbag and the endless delight you and DJ express over every word written and item revealed. The all-kitten toy review is a hoot. I think the tissue paper and empty boxes will forever be at the top of the approval list. You are both so genuine and warm towards your charges, each other, and us, that it is impossible not to search for ways to express how awesome it is that you are the way you are. Yeah. <laughs> Having four of these beautiful creatures in my life is an honor, and let's face it, a lot of work at times. In the spirit of saying thank you for letting me share your world, please accept a few Living With Cats tools I find indispensable. May they free up your time for spoogles, kitten-covered naps, make your labors less laborious, and help send the URIs packing. Highest regards, Christine, a.k.a. Leopard Spots. Christine. Yes. P.S. I promise I might not do this again for a while. I swear on a stack of KMR. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leopard Spots, I was, if, if any of you are coming in late, I was just talking about the fact that Leopard Spots sent us a ridiculous amount of stuff really valuable, useful stuff, thoughtful, wonderful things. Um, just so much of it, too. And uh, this air purifier, by the way, I am in love with. Uh, DJ wants to get another one for the bedroom. Uh, I think we probably will. Um, it's don't, wonderful. Don't. Yes, don't, don't send us one. We'll get our own for the bedroom, okay? It's not even on the stream, so it does not count. Um, it's, it is a wonderful air purifier, though. I love it. Um, so I was just saying before we started this stream that Leopard Spots sent some extra stuff, and you got, I think if some of you are really into mysteries, uh, there were some clues in last week's mailbag that might help you solve it. Um, but uh, because we've only gotten until 11.15 today, about an hour from now, we're probably not even going to make it through this stuff. And I already set aside the other stuff that Leopard Spots uh, sent because I assume that if we were going to have to break this into two parts, we would just kind of put that in tomorrow's part and, and make it more almost like a leopard spots. Um, uh, that's, that's leopard spots, I think. There's two S's. Uh, anyway. Yeah, but it'll be their spot. Oh, you're right. It'll be a leopard spot spot. You're right. Okay. I didn't think of that. I don't know why. So anyway, that's my point. Leopards, spots, if you're watching, um, and we're probably not going to get to the rest of the stuff you sent, but I am so excited about it. It is yeah. really cool really stuff. Really I, I know. Yeah. DJ and I can hardly wait to open it, but we're, we're being good kids. Like at Christmas, we're going to wait. We're going to put it off. So, All right. Uh, enough about that, though. Let's carry on. Leopard spots, thank you for sending the letter and uh, being just... Just being who you are. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you for the way you are. Yeah. Good. Nice try, though. Yeah. Gold star, you tried. Oh. Okay. Well, look at this. I can't really look at so I don't. Uh, did we? Did we figure out who sent those the smoky sign and the LC sign? Yeah, that was Joyce, right? Was it Joyce? Was it Joyce? Yeah. Was it Joyce? Yeah. Because now we have an Ari sign. Aww. A Loganberry sign. Oh, no. A Custard sign. Where is Custard's office? And an Eddie sign. Oh, we know where Eddie's Yeah, is. Eddie's office is easy to label. Custard's office is probably the bed. Yeah. And Ari's office is the, probably by his water bowl. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And then Loganberry's is office the, is the kitchen counter. Is the basket on the kitchen counter, yeah. Thank you so much. These are really fun, and we'll have to put these up so that they show up in the live streams. Uh, I assume. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yes, the close-up streams. 
And so there's not actually a packing slip that says who this is from. We're going to assume it's from Joyce. We, yeah, we're going to just put this down as Joyce unless somebody else wants to step up and take credit. Or everybody else, that's fine too. You know, you can, everybody can just be like, I am Spartacus. I am Joyce. All right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you know what you get when one person's like, I am Joyce, and the next person says, I am Joyce? Oh, no. It's going to be a joke. What is rejoice? <laughs> wow. Yeah. What do you think of that? That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there's a name on this. What does that word spot mean when... Uh, <laughs> So, I don't think there's a note in here that I'm finding yet. I just want to, let me take a quick look. We have the South Milwaukee Now local paper. Oh, wait a minute, this is even better. Wow, so people have been sending us their local papers because I love local papers. They're just so fun to see how the people, are, you know, are um, on the, just sort of the local, honest, you know, direct level. I love it. So, this is from South Milwaukee. And the coolest thing about this is right on the front page, Mr. Pickles entertains Hale's Corners. Look at that, Mr. Pickles. Look, Mr. Pickles. Oh. It's Mr. Pickles. That's completely cool. Is there, let's see, oh, there is a little note in here. All right, so let's see what it says. The note says, All right, dear Mr. A and DJ, I have checked in on Kitten Academy at least once a day for a year now to see how the delightful kittens are progressing in their education and for my own pleasure. I saw you try a halter on Rue, which she was not really fond of, so I sewed you one like the one I made for my four-year-old 12-pound male cat, Carmine, so he could go for a leashed walk. My sweetie, 11-year-old, 8-pound female, Mabel, uses it too, occasionally. They both got used to it easier than a collar-like one. The Velcro makes yours adjustable to the size of the cat. Also, a cat can pull out of it so the cat won't strangle or get his mouth caught. There is a D-ring for a leash and a loop for the quick grab if needed. See if you like it. And don't worry, it cost me nothing. I made it from fabric remnants and notions I had in my stash. Oh, wow, look at that. And if you have any suggestions for how to improve it, you can let me know at my email above. It looks kind of Christmassy to me, yes? Yes, it does look kind of Christmassy because you've used the sort of hunter green and then this red. And, you know, green and red, you just can't put them together without saying Christmas. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The South Now magazine is for Mr. A. Thought you might enjoy the Mr. Pickles part and the police reports from up here in southern Milwaukee County. Oh, that's really good. Hey, not hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the police reports are always the fun part. Let me just take a quick look at the blotter. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. You guys have a lot of police reports up there. This is a lot bigger than that little paper we got last week. Hmm. Wow. Uh, okay. Hang on, one thing at a time. Thank you for letting me and us YouTubers in on your loving, caring, sweet little corner of the world. It's a joy to watch. Best wishes, and may all the love you give come back to you. Yours, Janet, Mabel, Carmine, and, or Carmine, and Mike, too. P.S. One more thing. You can get coffee candy and green tea candy at Woodman's in Kenosha. Maybe not worth a ride up here, but now you know where to get them. P.S.S. From one punster who learned the art at her mother's knee and has received her share of OMGs to another, thanks for keeping the lowest form of humor alive and well. Hmm. Peace. Lowest? So that's what they say. They say the pun is the lowest form of humor, but I don't know. Is the bun the lowest form of bread? Why? <laughs> why do you even? Why, why do you even? Why? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, they just they categorize these. Hmm. Wow. 
An unidentified male allegedly took a $21.99 bottle of vodka from Pick and Save. So this thief has some expensive tastes. $21 bottle of vodka, yes. That's that's the good stuff right there. There's something else in here. It's uh, photos. Let's see if there's any photos in it or if this is just sort of a filler. No, nope, there are some photos. Let's see. What, oh, it's your cat wearing the harnesses. Look at that. Here we go. Here's one of them scratching in a blanket wearing the harness. This is a different cat. You've got, you did mention two cats. Please give them hugs for us, by the way. Oh, Okay, Carmine in his halter made from blue jeans. Oh, very denim. All right. Uh, squirmy Mabel in the blue jean halter. Hard to take a pic of this girl. Here's Mabel again. Mabel means beautiful. That she is in so many ways. I have to agree. She's beautiful. And then Carmine. Carmine? Carmine? I'm going to say it wrong. Um... My sensitive, smart as a whip, lovely guy. He does look beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing these photos and your local paper. That those are always so much fun for me. But especially this. I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's big, so it's good for an adult cat. I like the design of it. I think it'll work out really well. And uh, and and it's it's great. It's so great. Thank you so much. I can't wait to try it out. It even looks big enough for Acro, who is our really, really big guy. So that's fantastic. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Did okay. you stop her from eating the... Okay. Just Which... Some. Oh, that's just a piece of paper, but yeah, I'll take it away. Yes, I'm going to give it all to you in just a moment. Put this back in here so it all stays together. Okay, there you go. Wow, so cool. All right, here's a drop shipment from Woot. Interesting. If it's two t shirts, it's going to be from. Oh, okay. I was wondering how this even got to us because it says shipped to, and the address there is not ours, but then there's another one delivered to, and that is us. So. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Look at these. Okay. So I have been complaining about the fact that I'm too big to fit into any of my t-shirts oh, anymore. Wow. And awesome. you thoughtfully sent a large, so I know this is for me. It says, today is going to be productive. And it's got a little kitten looking at what appears to be blueprints. Um, this is completely cool, and it's a t-shirt I can wear until I lose my weight. I started working out this week, everybody. What did it say on that? It says, today's going to be productive. And then we have another one here, and this one is a women's medium, which means this is definitely for DJ. And it says, oh, it doesn't say anything. It's, it appears to be Nyan Cat taking a nap. I think, um, you know, you never see Nyan Cat holding Nyan still, or, yeah, it's always flying through the sky, but here we have a kitten, and then we've got rainbow, it appears to be pillows that he's sleeping on, and then a couple Pop-Tarts, one of them with a, a bite out of it, so, and then the stars, so it's all the same motif, but it's the relaxed version, mm -hmm. it's adorable, this is the cutest, cutest shirt, I love this so much. Maybe you're going to wear it someday. Yeah, if I lose enough weight, maybe I can. I was saying, so yeah, I did. I've really been getting, like, you know, I was talking about this, I think, last week, where you, you hit a point where you either have to decide to start buying all new clothes or, like, do something about it. And I decided not to buy all new clothes. I started working out. I had two really solid workouts, and I've been limiting what I eat. And I'm feeling really, really good about it, but I've got to, you just you got to keep that stuff up for so long for it to have a good effect, right? It just it just takes constant vigilance, and uh, I'm down for it, though. I think, I think I can do this. Assuming that none of you sent me a giant batch of cookies or candy this week. Uh, we'll see about that. Okay, this must be the one letter that I was looking at. It says, hi, Candy, and the rest of the USPS team. Thank you, by the way, for those t-shirts. They're wonderful. I'm really excited to wear them, and it's, it's nice in the meantime... 
to have another large shirt that I can wear. Um, oh, it's Wally D. Cat. I'm sorry. Okay, good. All right, good. I'm glad we cleared that. I was a little skeptical. Wally D. Cat, thank you. Uh, well, that's Wally D. Cat on the, at the Patreon Discord chat. Thank you so much for those t-shirts. Like I said, it's especially good because I now have at least one more wardrobe item to hold me over until I manage to lose some weight. This card is adorable. It is a bakery with a couple of cakes cooling in the window, and it's all done up with sparkles, and there's a cupcake and a coffee out here on the table, and these beautiful little things, and I'm looking at it, and I'm going, that's so cute, and then I look up here on the awning, there's a tiny white kitten, and the person that sent the card is written in Mew, Mew, mm -hmm. it's so cute, oh, okay. So you've read the letter, that's from, you've read the letter already, remember it was, um, with the purchase. This letter? Yeah. I gave you the screenshot of it. Oh. Because it was supposed to come with the purchase and then explain that. So oh. Yeah. The per I, say, I heard you say purchase. I know. And, There's no other way to say it. I know. It. You're right. No. Yeah. So she means it came with the uh, the, the cat purchase, the, uh, the polls that we got last week. And I did read this letter. You're right. Um. It might be worth reading again, though. It was really touching, and I think it said a lot of good stuff. Plus, I've got a story to tell. So, first off, though, here's the card. It's adorable. It says here, Since I don't have tidy handwriting any longer, please see typewritten note. I didn't want you to struggle to read it. And then there's a drawing of a cat, and there's also a, another little kitten on the inside saying meow. It's very cute. Now, I did read this letter before, and you'll remember it if you watch all the mailbags, but for the people who are tuning in this week and didn't hear it, I'd love to read it again. Just keep in mind that it came with nine, nine, right? Was it nine or was it seven? I know it was one away from eight. Yes, nine, I think. It came with a whole bunch of these same uh, cat tree perch uh, poles that, that we have one of here, because they, they just love it. And so... Um, Annie D. Uh, sent us just a ton of them so that we can make sure that everybody that, that goes gets to take one with, which is the sweetest thing. And uh, I've got a little story to tell about that afterwards. DJ is going to roll her eyes and tell me not to tell it, but I, I still think it's worth telling. So here we go. The letter says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, Petco doesn't have an option for including a gift message, so I'm sending this note to go with what I imagine is the rather large and heavy box from Petco. If it makes more sense, you can wait to read the rest of this message until you are opening dropship boxes. I've had so much fun watching the current class playing on the squirrel-tailed scratching post that I wanted to send one home with each graduate or pair of graduates and give you one to deploy in the annex for future classes. The nine posts should be enough for Crow and Claire, Cory and Pinto, Garbanzo, Kidney and Tomato, Falafel, Hummus, Tahini, and Baba Ganoush. Before you say this is too much, let me stop you and say no, it really isn't. It is but a very small gesture to express my gratitude for the way that Kitten Academy has enhanced my life. In the years following being diagnosed with rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia, sorry, stumbled on that, my world has become smaller and smaller and I didn't even realize it was happening. Long story short, Kitten Academy and the Discord chat have given me a way to engage and connect with other people who have all come together for a shared love of kittens in general, and Kitten Academy kittens specifically. No matter how bad things may be on a given day, I can count on the kittens, the two of you, and all of the people on the chat to divert my attention away from my own challenges. Mailbag is the high point of my week, and for the first time in ages, I have something to look forward to on the weekend. I even wake up a couple of hours earlier on Saturdays than I do during the work week. It's like watching Christmas morning for the kittens and getting to experience cultures from all around the world every seven days. Thank you for sharing your lives, your home, and your fur family with all of us. The two of you are improving the lives of kittens and humans alike. I know because I'm one of those humans. Trixie, Tiny, Tallulah, Casey, Quinn, and Little Tucker also thank you for all of their new toys and furniture from the As Seen on KA TV collection inspired by the live stream. With love and admiration, Annie D, a.k.a. Cat in Pajamas on the Discord chat. Or maybe Cat in Pajamas on the Discord chat. 
Hmm. It's a mystery. So first off, thank you so much for sending those cat posts and the wonderful letter. And it, I, I just, I always love um, the reminders that we are able to, I think, help some people um, in our own way. And it's wonderful. It's, you know, I've said this, I think, when I read your letter before, that it's the last thing that I expected to happen when we started Kitten Academy. Um, yet you're not the first one to express that to us, and it's it's really wonderful. I'm so glad that we can be that. So I promised a little story, and it's not a very long story. Um, those cat posts we had left in the kitchen, where we tend to no. put the mailbag stuff for a little while before it goes um, to where its final destinations, I suppose. Why? <laughs> DJ, as I predicted, does not want me to tell this story. Uh, but I won't let that stop me. Um, this is too much. It's not. It's, you know what? This is just a part of life with cats. And that's what we're fundamentally, you know, we're about that. So it's okay. My, uh, the story is that we had noticed that one of our cats, Mystery, who uh, tore open the top box and had climbed into it. And, and you know, uh, there were little bits of cardboard and teeth marks just everywhere. And thank goodness, inside, the cat posts were all in nice plastic bags, individually wrapped. Because when I went to start clearing stuff out over the week, uh, I opened the box, and Loganberry had climbed in there and peed on all of the cat posts. <laughs> it, was, it is not funny. It is, it is funny. It's a little funny, yes. I, I, I'll admit. So, anyway, it's just... A, just one of these things that happens when you have cats, and like I said, they were all in plastic bags, so I cleaned off the plastic bags, I sprayed down everything with Nature's Miracle, then I opened them all, took them out of the plastic bags, sprayed them all down with the Nature's Miracle again, just in case, and put them into boxes and hid them in a closet that is inaccessible to the cats. But uh, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, anyway, a Loganberry apparently um, wants to... I don't know, he's, he's upset that he does not get all the presents for himself, or he just likes to find creative places to pee. Um, we've certainly found that sometimes happens. And, you know, we get a lot of people that say, you know, my cat pees places they shouldn't. What do you do about it? And there are, there's a lot of things that we recommend. Um, you know, like if they pee in the same place all the time, put a litter box there and let them get used to it and then slowly move it to where you actually want it to be. That's a good suggestion. Uh, another thing to do is to make sure their litter boxes stay clean all the time. Sometimes they just want a clean litter box. Um, add litter boxes. Yeah, add extra litter boxes. Maybe you just don't have enough. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of things that we suggest, but sometimes uh, you try everything you can and you still find that they just sometimes pee places that they shouldn't. You know, it's, we almost think of it as something that could, could be the texture, right? right. You could try to switch right. things up, you could try to make it inaccessible, um, but in the end, what we do is if they're going to pee where they shouldn't, we keep a big stash of the Nature's Miracle in the red bottle, the ones like special. Just for cats. Yeah, it's called Nature's yeah. Miracle Just for Cats. It comes in a red bottle. It is the best. I've tried so many things to clean up cat pee, and this stuff does the job. It, it really does. So, highly recommended. That's my point. And we don't get paid for that uh, yet. So, uh, Nature's Miracle, call me for the endorsement deal. You guys, Coca-Cola, get together. We can do a whole a whole thing. So you both got the red thing going on, Coke and Nature's Miracle. They got the red thing. We, we could finish by 11.15. <sighs> All I'm saying is, you know, we could really make this happen for you guys. So here we have a drop shipment from Amazon, and there does not appear to be a note in here to tell us who this one is from. So maybe DJ oh. can figure it out in the chat. There's a t-shirt from Amazon. It looks like it's another large, so I have something else to put in my wardrobe. Oh, extra large even. Oh, this, somebody's thinking ahead for when I get all the cookies. <laughs> It says, Funkle, noun, like a dad, only cooler. See also, handsome or exceptional. Ah. Wow. Well, that's interesting because it definitely applies to me. Yeah. Did someone on the chat send this, or did this actually come from Orion, who does watch the stream? Nah, he's a, he's, no. You don't think so? 
So I actually am an uncle, a funkle, to a kid named Orion, who's my brother's son, and he's wonderful. And if you're out there watching Orion, hello. I know you watch sometimes. Um, if it wasn't from you, though, whoever it was from, let DJ know, okay? Either email us or say so on the chat if you're on the chat. I love this shirt. I'm totally going to wear it, especially next time I see Orion. Thank you so much. Funkle. Funkle. Yes. <laughs> And it's, well, it's doubly funny, funny because I'm funky. And so it just works on every level. More okay. like punkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, look at that. So, interesting. Here, instead of a newspaper, we've gotten a local magazine. And I've got to cover up the address to who it was originally sent to here. But it's from our old friend Lucia. And it is the New Hampshire uh, local magazine, and it, I'm interested to check it out. Give me a little flavor of New Hampshire. Hey, is that? Oh, no, I guess not. It just looks like people I, I thought I knew. Okay. Wow, the nice photography in this magazine, though. Thank you so much, Lucia. I will definitely check this out. There we go. Set that aside. I, like I, I said this earlier, I just I love getting the flavor from local people in all kinds of different places, and um, just one of the fun things about folks' mailers is I see we've got a, a whole bunch of stuff here that's international too, and I'm so excited to get to it. That's really fun stuff. It's like taking a little trip without ever leaving, you know. Okay. From Moonpig.com, what do we have here from Moonpig.com? Oh. Okay. To Mr. A and DJ, a few mailbags back, you said I owe you a poem. Sorry this has taken so long, but suffice it to say that my normal customizers of choice let me down, and there you were thinking you had gotten away with it. Thank you to both of you for being such an inspiration every day. Love and spoogles. Rune. Of course. All right. It says, with all due apologies to William Blake and the Tiger. See if I can do this justice. <coughs> <coughs> All right. It says, Eddie, Eddie, sitting tight in the cat tree at great height. What put it into mortal heads to try and give you stomach meds? <laughs> in what distant hall or lair have you not left shedded hair? Where do you shelter from a melee? Melee. That melee. Melee. I'm going with melee. Where do you shelter from a melee who may tickle your fine belly? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what puts you in a social mood other than the thought of food? When you wait upon the chair, are you pretending you are not there? Do you ask with a wry grin, who let more darn kittens in? Oh. And when you purr and roll and play, are you aware that you make my day? Uh. Eddie Eddie sitting tight in the cat tree at great height. Who could prove better than you? The quiet ones make an impact too. Runa, you are still the master. Uh, just that is amazing. Uh, it brings tears to my eyes too, even though it's funny. That's, it's just wonderful, Runa. Thank you so, so they much. They always get us with the last bit. I, they always The whole do thing, that. I know. She, she always does that. Oh, Runa, so, I just, I don't even know. Thank you so much. Wow. All right, okay, okay. We gotta keep moving though. As DJ says, we're on a schedule. And uh, Runa, that's amazing. Okay, I have a little green knife, there it is. Oh. Oh, customs declaration gives it away every time, doesn't it? That's fine. Let's see if I can get this open. You know, uh, when I fill out customs declarations, I've never had a problem just saying, like, gift or toy without specifying. But I notice I must be the only one that does it that way. Aww. Thank you for supporting our cause. You just made some shelter cats happy. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for your order. Hope you will love it. Love, Monty. 
So I actually got a message from uh, Hadrian Black on our chat, and um, they had said that they made a donation to Monty in our name and had the stuff sent to us. So this is from Adrian Black on the chat, and it says, first off, there's a bunch of pictures of Monty on that are stickers, Monty stickers. It says, I'm not perfect, but possum. And then, uh, let's see, there's an Instagram, Monty Happiness. Oh, win $100 for my shop. Take a picture of your jewelry. All right. Put her on Instagram, hashtag Monty Jewelry. You guys should get right on that. Here's a tiny little box that says Monty, and it is... Ooh, very nicely wrapped. Aw, it's little Monty earrings. They're tiny. Oh my gosh, these earrings are so cool. DJ, you've got it. They're not only are they tiny, it's the cat's tail that is the, the hook loop that goes in your ear. Oh. So I don't know if you guys will be able to see these because they're so small, but there's two of them. They match. They're adorable, and I'm going to hand them over to DJ. Um, I had one of my ears pierced when I was a wayward youth, but I haven't put anything in it in so long. It's probably closed oh, up. Let's, you got to look at those. Those are adorable. Oh, my goodness, adorable. Oh, what is... Oh, these are the backs for them. They sent those separately for some reason. So, oh, there you go if you need them. Here's a tiny little uh, lapel pin that says Pawsome, and it has a picture of Monty on it again. So cute. And here is just a, another Monty Boy sticker and Monty Boy's uh, business card that says, Visit my jewelry store here at montyboy.net. Very cool. And 15% off when you use the checkout code MONTY15. All right. Promise we're not paying, we're being paid for this advertisement yet. Um. But Monty Boy, if you want to get together with Coca-Cola and uh, Nature's Miracle, we, we could just, we could have a big group of everybody all together paying me to talk about them. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this bag is so cute. It says, are you kidding me? Write me out. MontyBoy.net. I love it. I really do. Hadrian Black, thank you so much for making that donation in our name and sending us all this fun stuff. Those earrings especially are seriously adorable. And somebody likes this tiny little box. Is it just the right size for a falafel? It is just the right size for a falafel. A falafel thinks so anyway. All right. uh, DJ covered up the... Uh, covered up the address because Monty Boy kind of sounds like it could be a person, right? It does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh... yeah. It's like, oh, we got to keep that one secret. Okay. Let's see. I think there's another package somewhere in here from Hadrian Black. Yeah, you want it? Uh, no, we'll, we'll get to it. We can do, we can do them twice. Oh, it's this one, right? It is this one. It is, it is this one. Oh, yeah, that one. Yes, it is. This one that, by the way, this one has been checked by security, so we know it's okay. Yes, it is secure. Well, let's go right to it then. Where's the rest of that? Can we put this in there? Oh, thank you. Yes. Those earrings are cute. Did you put them on? Why? Oh. DHL repacked this, and when they repacked it, they went all out. This is going to be a real trick to get this thing open. Wow, DHL, you guys, your security team does not screw around. Like, they don't just do security in the sense of keeping things safe. They do security in the sense of securing things. This package is seriously secured. Meow! Meow! Stop, that's too much. Meow, Papa Ganoush! Okay. <gasps> oh boy. What? Oh my. What? Really? What? Hmm. So first off, we have uh, Ruby Chai Sprinkle. And it appears to be a topping that you would put onto a coffee or a chai. Wow. It, because I say topping because it's called Sprinkle and it seems like it's sprinkly. And it says the ingredients are... Maybe it's tea. The ingredients are coconut sugar, cinnamon, and other spices. So it is a spice blend to put on or in your coffee or tea. Wow. That sounds very exciting. 
Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I haven't talked about this in a long time, but you know I'm a coffee fan. I talk about that all the time. I went through a period a little while ago where all I would do was make Turkish coffee, and you, I'd put all kinds of spices into it. It's the best. Oh my goodness, the best. What? What happened to that? Well, we can do more Turkish coffee anytime you want. Um, Anyway, I love Turkish coffee. I love putting spices in coffee. It's great. I experimented with so many different ones. I'm excited to try this out. I'm really excited. Okay. What else have we got? Ruby red chai, spiced rooibos tea, naturally caffeine-free. At Ruby Chai, we've been perfecting our spice blends for nearly 20 years. Every batch of Ruby Chai starts with freshly ground spices with only premium quality ingredients used. Our process captures the rich aromas, locking intense flavors into every pack, ready to be enjoyed in your cup of ruby chai. So wow. I'm just to read the letter that oh. explains. Okay, hang on, I'll find the letter, we'll read that. But i got to say, the base for our ruby red chai is rooibos, also known as African Red Bush. Naturally, caffeine-free rooibos is an antioxidant powerhouse. Mm. I've actually never tried I've never even heard of rooibos teas, so I'm interested in that. Okay, there's a letter, and I just found it. It was underneath these things. Things must have shifted around when the security guys opened this up. Read it. Yeah, they, I'm sure not only did they, they read your letter. Mess this up. Let's put this letter oh, I think it's worse than the that. Thing. There's some socks in here, and it looks like they tried them on. In no. fact, there's still a foot in one. Okay, no, I'm making that up. There's no foot. 11.15! Okay! No jokes! <laughs> what? No jokes! We can finish the rest of this tomorrow, everybody. I know we Let's can. Let's just do jokes now, right? Dear Mr. A and DJ, I hope you enjoy the small token of appreciation for allowing us to peek into the lives of these wonderful kittens and mom cats. See enclosed letter for more details from Chris, a.k.a. Hadrian Black, on chat. P.S. There's another package from Denmark via Frost Nord from Me Too. So that's the the Denmark one is the one. I, you see it? That's this one. That's the one that we did. The Money Boy, Denmark. It does oh, say. Oh, okay. Yeah. It does say from Denmark. So that's the one. Right. Okay. Excellent. And. Oh hi, Custard. What? Dear Mr. A and DJ. Greetings from the land down under and the most remote capital city in the world. I discovered Kitten Academy via a YouTube recommendation around the time of the Fish Kittens, though Song and her quintets were the first group I had seen join the Academy. My partner and I really enjoy watching these kittens grow and learn. Watching the close-up streams has become a nightly ritual. Anyway, I just wanted to show my appreciation to you and DJ for providing such a wonderful environment to these kittens and mom cats and allowing us the privilege of participating from afar. Enclosed are a selection of things that have been made or produced in Australia, bar one, and I hope you enjoy them. First off, um, Mackie or Ma Makey, Mackie socks, they're, they're like sushi, I think. That's the joke, because they do look like little sushis. Like a uh, Mackie sushi, maybe? Oh, and they're, they're named for the fish, too, aren't they? Yes, this one is a tuna, and it does look like a tuna roll, doesn't it? Custard. How is this supposed to work? <laughs> <laughs> right? He's putting his nose directly in he the wants camera. That's uh, right. He's helping you guys out. So, uh, socks for your collection. Now, the fun is really when they are still in the packaging, is these socks are designed to look like Maki sushi when they are rolled up. Once unfurled, they just look like swatches of color. I hope you like them. I do like them, and they really do look exactly like the sushis they're supposed to look Can like. I see them? Here's an egg one. Here's a tuna one. This looks exactly like a tuna oh roll, doesn't it? Here's an egg. And then we also have a salmon oh, roll. Those are the cutest sofa I know. And then we also have a California roll. Of course, the classic California roll. Oh, so <laughs> Those are adorable. <laughs> so it says, um, okay, brooches, cloths, and cards. Mm, I don't actually, uh-oh. We got a problem here. Oh, wait, that must be what's in here. Okay, I set this aside. I'm like, oh, security took those things. Okay. The brooches and microfiber cloths are just a few cat themed things which I thought may be useful for yourself and DJ. Wow. So, wow, look at these. So, oh, these are nice little pens, and Custard is really making sure nobody can see them. 
These will be great on DJ's uh, um, doctor jacket, doctor coat, whatever you call white it. Coat. White coat. Thank you. It's called a white coat. And they're little, they're pairs that are really cute together. Here's a very satisfied looking orange cat who's wearing glasses and he's got a fish to go with him. And then here is a, apparently just a woken black cat and it's got a little word bubble saying meow. Aww. They're both really cute. DJ wants to look at them. She keeps grabbing at them. So I'm just going to put those over there for her. Here we have a postcard that it has a kangaroo and a little tiny kangaroo in its pouch. And it says the brooches, brooches, brooches or brooches? Pins. I'm gonna, the pins are handmade, <laughs> pan, painted, and enameled by a small artisan jewelry maker. There are also four postcards made from wood veneer board. Well, that's interesting because I thought the wood on these postcards, and there are four of them, wow. I thought the wood felt kind of real, and it turns out it is actual wood. Who knew? Um, so we've got the kangaroo pair, we've got a koala bear pair, we have a hedgehog and a cockatiel, I think, some sort of bird. Okay, um, and finally we have microfiber cloths, which I use a ton of these. We both wear glasses, so we use them for that, but I use them a ton for my camera too. So this one says, you put the wow in me wow, me wow, and this one says, I touched a cat and I liked it. <laughs> Alright, coffee. Now for something that's actually made in Western Australia. Unfortunately, they don't have kitten themed blends. Here we go, it's this one. Oh, this actually says fat puppy on it, so that's pretty yeah, close. That's close. But I feel that flavor trumps fashion in this instance. Although the package says beans, it's actually been ground to percolators and French presses. I hope you enjoy it. And then T, uh, we saw the T at the start, and it says, for something on the opposite end of the spectrum, a lovely spiced Ruibos tea. It is caffeine-free and blended with a selection of spices for a comforting chai blend. And to accompany the chai are some spiced sprinkles to go uh, really to go on top. Uh, DJ's excited about the sprinkles. Hey, Adrian Black, and I hope I'm saying your name right, because I only ever read it. Uh, Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, we really appreciate this stuff. It's awesome. Oh, I don't think I showed the front of your card. It's got this beautiful cats on it. It says, have a perfect day. Just walking around with that. Yeah, the strip, the security strip off of the package. <sighs> Adrian Black, thank you so much. This is the sweetest stuff, and it's, it's really been fun having you as a chat participant. Um, so... Um, thank you for that. I'm excited to try out the coffee. Um, you know that I do French press. I've talked about the fact that I do French press previously and that uh, French press, I am told, um, being that I'm just a coffee enjoy, I'm somebody that enjoys coffee. I'm not necessarily somebody that uh, is like a coffee snob, but I'm told by the people who are coffee snobs that the French press is the way to eat this. No, I got everything if you want to put these back. Um, the French press is the way to make coffee if you do not have an espresso maker. Um, those are the, like the two best of the best ways to make coffee, supposedly, is what I'm told. Now, we've reached a point in my life where we have both. Somebody sent us an espresso maker in a previous mailbag, and I have been really enjoying it. So I'll, still, I'll go to the French press if like, I'm going to my office and I want to bring like a giant pitcher of coffee with me, which happens all the time. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that espresso machine is just, uh, it's awesome. Um, so, it's cool. It's really great. Thank you so much, Adrian. Adrian Black, uh, a.k.a. Chris. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, well, I made it kind of, wow. Leopard Spots sent even more stuff. So, here's another package from Leopard Spots. Dear Mr. A and DJ, since you have that amazing new floor in the kitten room, I know it's too much, but really it isn't in the war on germs. From Chris, a.k.a. Leopard Spots. Oh, I think this is a washable microfiber mop. Look at that. Wow. It's really cute, too. Thank you so much. We will definitely be uh, needing to sterilize and mop this room in between classes. And I've already discussed with DJ that I will be cleaning this room at 11.15. Here, do you want this? Um, 
Um, so as soon as we finish this mailbag segment for today, the room gets a cleaning. And I can see already, by the way, there's no way we're even going to get through this pile, much less the leopard spot stuff that I didn't even bring in the room because uh, we're running low on time. So I hope nobody that sent us anything is going to be offended by the fact that, that we're going to bump some of it until tomorrow. I'll, I'll, we'll do a mailbag tomorrow morning, too. I hope there's nothing for... If there... Not the box, like, one of the boxes, I saw something about tomato. Which I one? Oh, well, this one from Alinari says tomato on it. Is that yeah. what you're thinking of? Yeah, I wonder so, if there's okay. stuff in there. I'm going to skip to the box from Eleonore, who always laughs because I know I say her name wrong. Um, one of the people that we've been friends with on chat for a long time, and we met in London. One of the folks we met in London has sent us a box this week, and it's got stuff all over it. It says Maub, and it's got a drawing. It says, I'm a tomato or an orange, question mark. Uh, it says, wear ginger on it, too. And then I can't draw... Uh, why do I do this? <laughs> Ari is equally surprised. It says, dis a cat. So all kinds of fun stuff on Ellen Ari's package. I'll start here. While I'm opening this, if you are watching the mailbag right now and you sent something that we should open today before Cory Tomato and um, uh, the other one, <laughs> Cory Tomato and Kidney Go, send a message to, to DJ if you can. And uh, that would be a good way for us to know to open your thing. Pop it off. Come on, Bob, we're going to get it out. Get it all out, buddy. They got steam this morning, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's see what You're not helping things us. Eleanor may have sent us. Oh! <gasps> oh, goodness! Oh my goodness, can you, can you guess what it is? Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to getting some of this. Thank you, Eleanor. You really didn't have to do that, but it's sweet. Oh. There's two letters. Yes, well this one says, do not read on camera, and I think it's something that we've been asked already. Tell me if we've oh, helped to accommodate that. And uh, I think we are. Okay, this must be the one that says, okay to read on camera. Thank you so much. Dear DJ and Mr. A, hola. I hope this package finds its way to you given its precious and sugary content. Since I know no one sends you ever sweets and chocolates, I decided to treat you both with some delicacies from your favorite German brand. Of course, it all comes with a price, which is you having to say out loud the name of the products in this box. I am, as you may imagine, not the best Love discorder it. to teach you how to pronounce German, as whenever I attempt to say anything in the language of Beethoven, the human, not the dog, people panic and run in circles or call the police. But I'm sure you will manage anyway without anyone calling the police. Here, see here a list of the words you must mispronounce. And then there is a list which it will return to in a moment. Uh, food apart, there's also a bunch of soft toys included that might come across as odd, and well, they are. But there's a reason for them to be there. When I saw them, I could not resist buying it for one single reason. I had to get a tomato toy to my favoriteest orange kitten in the world, Tomato. I would love to see one of the tomatoes go with her to her forever home. There's a cucumber I thought might double as a pickle, so if possible, sent it with Mr. Pickles when he graduates. The rest can be allocated to any present or future Kitten Academy kitten faculty or on Angel's Wings cat if needed. That is, unless you're planning to have a class named after veggies. I would like to take the chance to say I can't praise you enough for the work you do for the kittens. Your patience and dedication are inspiring, and I can only wish you the, the best for you both. You rule. Cheers and extremely awkward hugs. Marta, a.k.a. Elinare, Leela, and Pino. Okay. So let's start with the easy part. Here are the vegetables. We have. Just say it like that. <laughs> get, get a head start on the mispronunciations. Here we have what appears to be an okra. Is this an okra? Oh yeah. It's, it's, um, it's an maybe okra. that's the. There's cucumber. two tomatoes. I think that's the cucumber. There is a uh, um, sh uh, green onion thing. Um, not, I almost said shout. That's the wrong word. What am I thinking of? Um, scallion. Scallion. Thank you. A scallion. I'm totally cool on that. Oh, I think this is supposed to be the cucumber. Yes, the cucumber. Oh, 
Oh my god. Here we have a garlic. Where did you find and, that? And oh, oh a mushroom. I'm like well, What is this strange thing? It's a mushroom. You just have to turn it the right way. Two mushrooms. Oh mushrooms. Three little carrots. And obviously a head of lettuce. And it's all in a vegetable basket. We need to name basket the, and I'll look at the cutest, things. cutest thing on the way. Really, really adorable. And I think DJ is going to do it on family of vegetables. She's got I'm going to be basket. Basket? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So now let's see the words I have to mispronounce and certainly will mispronounce. First off, we've done this one before. It is on the list, though. Uh, this is apparently, so this is interesting. Um, it's from the Who Sell, or Hustle Who Sell, Who Sell. I'm going with Who Sell. Okay, so I've already started just with the name of the company that this is all from. It says Cats and Zungen. Uh, I'm sticking with Cats and Zungen. Believe me, I'm going to get these all wrong, so just be ready for it. And we've had other chocolates sent to us that are the same shape from other manufacturers that are named the same thing. So that must just be a thing. Cats and Zungen. It's not specific to these guys. It's, it's generic. I like this, though, because it's got these cute little cats on it. They're little chocolate bars, and they're very yummy. I'm saving my favoriteest thing for last. Thank you for sending these. Um, so here we have... Okay. <laughs> here we have... <laughs> I can't do this. Marta, you're a terrible person for making me do this. Okay. This is Gazerkity Jelly Fruit Mick Fruit Just Smacked. Just Smacked. No tea. Sorry. J fruit Just Smacked. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Uh, it is uh, some sort of little fruit jelly, though, which are yummy. And then we have. Uh, what appears to be two packages of the same thing, which are called Apfelsinin und Zitronagelli Scheiben. I feel like I did pretty good on that one. Um, so that's apparently a, a citrus um, kind of a, they, they look like little lemon slices. All right. Oh, there is a, this is another of the same thing, so I don't have to try it again, do I? No. Question mark, please. Okay. And then I saved, of course, the best. The best for last. This is, I think, the reason that Marta sent this stuff. Somebody sent us a bag of these. The little... <laughs> Good what? job. That's <laughs> wow, Somebody sent us a bag of these in a previous... Oh, my God. In a previous mailbag, and DJ and I both loved them. And then we discovered that it is literally impossible to get them in the United States. There is no place in the United States that sells these. None. It just does not exist. So we, uh, I actually did. This is, the, the, I think, the first and only time that I've ever asked anybody to please send us something. And, uh, of course, it would be uh, Elinari that came through for us. So thank you so much, Elinari. These are Fruit Jelly Mini Scheiben. And uh, I think they're basically just the smaller version of these things, but they're just, they're perfect. And I know that, that people in the, who live in the United States are going to look online and they're going to be like, well, we can get things that are just like that. I tried. I ordered literally every product I could find online that looked like it, this. None of them are as good as these ones from Husserl in uh, Germany. So I'm so glad that we've got you on our side, uh, Marta. Thank you so, so much. I'm excited to try the other flavors. That's just what I need is even more things to be addicted to that I can't possibly ever get more of. All right. Thank you, though. Thank you so much. And the fruit basket is adorable, and we will be sure to send the tomato with tomato. Tomatoes, because there's two of them. Thank you so much, Eleanor. I'm glad I opened that one today. Did anybody get in touch with you about something else that I have to open today? Mm -mm. Okay. In that case, I'm going with Piff, because Piff here sent us a package. Um, Piff is the same person who previously has sent us stuff and sent us some of the most brilliant cards that we've ever sent out for one of our monthly mailings. And we got to use Piff's cards for one of the monthly mailings, and they were beautiful, beautiful. 
Well, the company is Hustle or Hustle. Right, but the ones we like. The ones that we really like are called Fruit oh. Jelly Mini Scheiben. Do you want me to spell it? Sure. <laughs> Let me give you a fact so you can read it. Yes, surely my pronunciation does nothing for helping you look them up online. Oh, Piff, thank you so much for sending. Uh, whoa! Whoa, Piff! Every time you send something, it seems you've really outdone yourself. This is phenomenal. So, all right, there's a note here, and it says, DJ and Mr. A, okay to read. The mat is for Acro's office. The rest is for On Angel's Wings to sell in their store. Just some odds and ends we came across while decluttering. Thanks again for sharing everything with us. Love, Piff. Well, I might have to be the purchaser of some of these items from On Angel's Wings in that case, because I can already see some of the stuff in this box is pretty cool. Well, let's see. So, this is a reversible drying mat, which, yes, uh, you probably have noticed that's always what we line Acro's office, quote-unquote, with. He loves to sleep on them. DJ's got a few. But this is the first one we have that's all cats. That is so great. It oh, is absolutely wow. perfect for him. Thank you so much for that. It is perfect for his office. Now, I don't know if you intended me to show off all of your uh, old stuff that you're throwing away to people on the stream, but you sent it here, so it's going to happen, okay? Wait, what? We have a bathrobe that is a TARDIS Doctor Who bathrobe. That is amazing. And the, the actual, the robe itself is the TARDIS. If you look in the front, it's got the windows and the little police call box sign. That's really, really cool. And then there is a uh, key holder or hanger that goes in the house that is a row of, it's like brass or bronze, it's very heavy. We have a, oh, a woodcraft model. Look at that, of an airplane, a woodcraft model airplane. A mini Happy Valentine's Day. A, oh, a tiny little kazoo fed cat. Look at that, little tiny kitten. This is an odd one. Oh, I guess it's a few things put together. So we have, first off, another hanger made up of cats. I hope you guys can see us. It's not too low. Can DJ look on the stream and find out? Here we have a, a really cool cuckoo clock um, felt bag made out of really heavy felt. And inside it is a box filled with ties, uh, a tie and a scarf actually, a tie and a oh. scarf. Can I see the scarf? Yeah. Hang on. Here, you can see them both. And then you can figure out how to get them back in there. A beautiful wooden box which contains oh, a Christmas pickle, the tradition of the Christmas pickle, two wallets. Oh, a, little, a little further back. Oh. You can pull the box a little further back. Oh, okay. I'm just going to mess it all up now. Oh, careful. Watch out, Bobby Ganoush. Wow. Okay. Christmas pickle. Uh, a green dog. A tiny little bottle with a cork stopper that says birthday wishes. A uh, lanyard. No, sorry, that's a shoelace. A, uh, what do you call this? A um, carabiner. A tiny, tiny pink bunny. Uh, a key holder, a uh, stretchy thing of a bobber. Another key holder. Some buttons. This is this is actually very fun. Piff. This is this is very cool. Uh, two pens. Here we have another keychain that appears to be a dream catcher. Uh, a tiny airplane uh, magnetic snack bag clip. Uh, some jewelry to, that includes penguins. A snowman and some sort of tropical leaf. A homespun cat. Uh, this is a coaster, drink coaster. A strange sort of purse thing. Hmm. Oh! A fan that collapses and 
and expands. I did not see that coming. Uh, how does this? Oh, hey, look yeah, at that. How did you even do that? Hmm. You just twisted it. You need to check that out. Here, have a look. What is going on? And this one is a sock, a Christmas stocking type sock. Yes. F. Wow. And then one more thing. There is a book in here that says "Organize Now: New, Updated, and Expanded: A Week-by-Week -week Guide to Organizing Your Life." Whoa. Once a month, file all bills and statements that you've paid. You may need to schedule this on your calendar. The longer you let it build, the less likely you are to do it. That's some good practical advice. The book is chock full of it. This is a jar of birthday wishes. I know. The kittens love all this stuff. So thank you. I think we absolutely will pass the majority of this on to On Angel's Wings. It's exactly the kind of stuff that they sell at their thrift store. Oh, there's one more thing. What part of meow don't you understand? <laughs> so, uh, the majority of this will pass on to them. If those of you that don't know, the, first off, the shelter that we work with is On Angel's Wings. So, they're the ones that find us the kittens. They're the ones that people apply to to adopt the kittens. They're in Crystal Lake, Illinois. And um, they fund themselves, they fund by running a thrift store. So you can go in and buy, you know, things, well, it's exactly like this. There's also a big clothing section where they sell clothing. And uh, it's really a fun place. So lots of interesting stuff there. And this stuff will be perfect for them. Although I got to say, I don't know if that Doctor Who bathrobe is going to make it or not. We'll find out. It's a mystery. No, it is very nice. Thank you so much, Piff. You are a wonderful and creative and generous person. So thank you very much for sending us this stuff. I'm going to set this aside for now. And I think we have time for one more box before we reach DJ's cutoff. I'm sorry we're ending stuff early this week, um, but we're doing it because, as you know, we have the adopters for tomato and kidney are due to show up around noon, and we need some time to prepare things. And DJ has got to get all packed up for her flight. She's taking Corey to deliver him to the East Coast. And uh, he will get to rejoin Pinto tonight. So that's pretty exciting. So DJ's going to be out uh, all the rest of the day. She leaves here around, what, 1, you were saying? 12.30. So Jessica says she's about 30 minutes away. And that was, yeah, a minute ago. Okay, good. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty much on schedule. It sounds like she might be even a little bit early if she's 30 minutes away. Yep. She's asking if she should make a pit stop somewhere so that she ice her to just... Yeah. So let's pick one more of these boxes and pop it open, and then the rest of this we're going to do tomorrow. We'll just, we'll just take this right here. It's an airmail. It's another one of our international packages. It's the closest one, so it wins. And then after that, oh, goodness, this did not get covered up. I hope I didn't just dox somebody. Okay. Sorry about that. DJ covered up the address on one side, but this box is tricky. There were addresses on two sides. I'm not prepared to deal with that. So here's something jingling in here. The Christmas pickle is a thing? The Christmas pickle is apparently a thing. Not a thing I'm familiar with, but, uh, I mean, we are now. Okay, there's probably a note in here, but I'm not finding it yet, so we'll dig down until we get to it. In the meantime, we have a Riff Raff Rat Catnip Cuddler. It says cats can't resist it. He does look kind of Riff Raffy. I know we've had that, and it does work. I like it. We have a Stir-Fried Mice Catnip Wand Toy. Goodness. Stir-Fried Mice. We have a real mint to freshen kittens' breath. Mint is a cousin of catnip and is appealing to most cats, it says. We have a spin and scratch. Oh, these look pretty cool, actually. They're little cardboard rings around balls, so they probably go every which way. Oh, wow. We have a jar of, oh boy. DJ's been looking forward to this one. Okay, hang on. I found the letter. Let's let's start here before I get to what we have a jar of. <sighs> okay, Mr. A and DJ, it says. And on the back, there is a cake, and it says, 
So DJ can have just a slice without having to buy a whole cake and to have diets ruined. What? Look, there's a little tiny cake. So that you can buy just a slice instead of buying a whole cake as you often do and leave it for me to eat. With you on that. Okay, so there's two notes here. There's one on the inside. Oh, and it's got a. That's interesting. It's got a, a little 3D thing that moves around, um, and it's got a cat looking at fish. I think trying to catch fish or looking at fish. And here we have a letter. Okay, we got a long one to end it off with. We might go just a little bit over, but we're going to read this anyway. All good to read on stream with a smiling face, dear Kitten Academy. First of all, I just want to thank you for all you do for the wonderful and floofy kittens and mum cats at the Academy. It's so lovely and generous of you to donate so much of your time, love, resources, and no doubt a chunk of your own money to taking care of all the little munchkins. But anyway, let's begin. My name is Brooke. I just turned 19 on the 9th of August. Happy birthday, Brooke. And I live in the wonderful Blue Mountains in Australia. I don't know if the Blue Mountains are known of in America, but it's definitely a tourist attraction to certain individuals. I first started watching the stream the day Song and her kittens arrived at the Academy and became an instant Kitten Academy addict and admirer. I'm also super proud of myself because I've managed to get my boyfriend Jack to fall in love with the kittens, even though he used to strongly dislike even the idea of playing with a cat. What? So, so really... Yeah. <laughs> what is one? Wow. He's, he's come around. It's okay. It's okay. Take it easy on Jack now. I think you should be proud of that as well. He has always found himself becoming attached to one or two kittens in each class. It all began with the undeniably floofy Hattie, then it was the little spotty Mandy, then Loot, then Kazoo, Aww. and now finally he's grown incredibly attached to Gonzo and Pinto Bean, who melt his heart every time he sees them. Jack's okay, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the TJ's yeah. come around on Jack, the same way Jack's come around on kittens now. I've been a pretty regular viewer of the stream since I found it on YouTube, especially when it came time to have my wisdom tooth removal surgery, yikes, which happened to be the same day that the rest of Song's kittens had their graduation surgeries, so I felt their pain. Also, I only recently discovered that the fish kittens were born on Jack and I's three-year anniversary which I thought was pretty cute. I'm currently in my first year of my nursing degree at university, and I've been watching the mailbags and close-up streams while studying and doing assignments. A little unconventional, I know, but I find it relaxing and helpful, so thank you for that. Now, I'll push you out of your misery and tell you what's in the box. The rat toy is for Custard, who is my favorite faculty floof. I think he will appreciate the catnip in it. Also, if possible, I think it'd be cool if you could give it to him on the close-up stream one night. The other toys you can distribute as you see fit amongst the cats and kittens at the Academy. Finally, there is a small jar of Vegemite in the box as well. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried the stuff, but it's an acquired taste. I couldn't resist sending some after seeing the reaction to the salted licorice you got sent a little while ago. Oh, that salmiaki from Finland. That stuff is... <laughs> um, feel free to torture any friends with the Vegemite that you would like to. Sorry that the letter became a bit lengthy and messy. Thank you again for all that you do. It's truly wonderful. From Brooke, or Brooklyn, 2002 on Discord. Although, sadly, not the chat. Frowny face. 1108-2017. Why aren't they on the chat? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Brooke, why aren't you on the chat? we got to get that sorted for you. Okay, there's another note here that says, read second before I start talking about Vegemite. Okay, to read on stream. I've also included this little fuzzy bear in the box. I thought it might be nice to give it to Rue. I figured it can be either be a snuggle toy for her because of reasons, but if she decides she would prefer to use it as a cabin fever reliever in the form of a kick toy, then that's perfectly fine by me. I sincerely hope that you and DJ and Rue are doing okay, and hopefully the oodles and oodles of kittens are helping you feel feline fine. Also, my boyfriend Jack is now majorly obsessed with Mr. Pickles, but he won't let himself get too attached as he'll be adopted soon. Best wishes, Brooke. Also, here's my Twitter. It's at Brooke Schloaf. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing your last name there. Two, just in case. P.S. I only got it to follow you. 
and that's at Brook B R O O K E S C H L O E F F two, the number two, just in case. All right. Thank you so much for sending this wonderful stuff, Brooke. Hang on, before we get to the Vegemite, we've got a tiny little bear. Bear was for. Yeah, it was for Rue. Maybe we'll find a way to get that to Rue for you. We have two little wobble mice and a Johnny stick. Unique combination of catnip and feather. Well, it certainly is unique. I've never seen anything like that. Those are very pretty feathers, too. Yeah. I don't know what those are from. Wow, how do they do that? Yeah, gorgeous feathers and stuff. So, Brooke, thank you so much for sending us a little taste of uh, things from the, you said, Blue Mountains in Australia, I think. So and, uh, the rat is for The rat is for custard, and everything else is up to our discussion. Yep, it's right there. And we'll try to give, I'll try to give it to him on the close-up stream tonight. I think he'll get a kick out of that. Oh, this is, this goes back. You're right, it goes back in piss box. Yep, we'll get to it. So, Vegemite, um, DJ says that she's heard about Vegemite her whole life, and she's always been really interested to try it, but she's never had a chance. So this is her chance. I, uh, when I was a kid, we would, we would go to, we got sent to, to summer camp in the summers. We would, our families would, our families would basically get rid of us and send us to summer camp. And if you had kids, you'd probably do the same thing to them. You go away for like two or three weeks, the kids do, and they, they don't come back at night. They spend their whole day at the summer camp. And I will never forget the day that one of the camp counselors brought in Vegemite as an experience for all the kids to try. We just had Vegemite on toast. I'll have to look on the internet to see if that's how everybody just eats it, just plain Vegemite on toast. With some butter, obviously, some butter and some Vegemite on the toast. That's the way we did it. We were told that was the proper way to do it. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate or not because I haven't really thought about it much since then. In fact, I tried to put it from my mind. It was horrifying. I could not believe that any real person would eat this stuff. It, uh, to me, it basically is, um, it's like rotten vegetable, vegetables. It's, it's like eating the rotten part of rotten vegetables. No, I think I want to try it. Now she's making a fit. You have to try it. I'll try it with you. I'll try it again as an adult. You know, it's been... 30 years since summer camp, so I'm, I'm probably overdue to give it another shake. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for sending that. That is going to be really fun. Uh, even if it's not really good, it's going to be really fun. Okay, uh, we're going to get the rest of this stuff out of here and try to get the stuff we want done in time for the adopter to show up, although I think I'm just going to have to leave this room uncleaned, and I'll just clean it later. Can we just switch the blanket? Sure. Okay, wow. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we will, uh, like I said, we'll do a mailbag tomorrow, Sunday, same time, 10 o'clock. That's how we'll pick it up. Let me come out of the kitchen for a minute. going to get moved into the kitchen for a while. If I notice any cat chewing on the boxes, I will be sure to take them away. right here the DJ didn't cover up. Alright, that's fine. I should have done it. I should have double checked. That's fine. They'll understand. These are people that are fans. They've been watching a long time. They'll know if we have boxes in the kitchen. It's because of the mailbag. It's not just because we're sloppy people. Although both things might be true. Oh. Yeah, 
Kids, what's up? You look a little confused now that the rug's picked up. recently. Travel papers in there? Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Newbie. I guess I can turn off the recording now. Goodbye, people.
for watching the Mailbag Archive. This is where it ends.
kitchen so that when I have the door open like this, the kittens will just go out into the kitchen and not any further. And uh, it doesn't slow down Tahini even a little. surprise what's in this box, but it's still pretty cool. All right. Well, I wish I had some letters to start with today, but we don't. Just packages. Hang on a minute. Okay. Here we are. <clears throat> I, uh, let's see. <laughs> Every, 
everybody on the chat is saying the faculty should stay in here. Um, they are. I mean, Custard's still in here, and he's just going to eat some food and then probably play with the kittens, which is cool. But I threw Ari out because he doesn't actually like the kittens. He just, he just likes to hiss at them. So he can go. That's fine. Um, okay, I should start today's mailbag <coughs> by informing you that... Uh, I may have been up really late playing video games and things, maybe, that might have happened. So if I seem a little bit exhausted, this is, um, this is espresso, espresso shots number five and six of the morning, and uh, that's what I'm counting on to get me through. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Buddy, get it out. You get it out, buddy. You sound like a horn. You sound very silly. Get it out, buddy. Okay. Well, <laughs> I should wait for DJ to show up so that she can catalog whatever we're going to open up today. Uh, there she is. Okay. So, um,. What's news? I feel like I had something I really wanted to talk to you guys about, and I can't remember what it was. Probably not, but the adoptions yesterday, the adoptions went very well, and uh, um, DJ went all the way out to Newark to deliver Corey, and that went really well. So we're super happy for them, and there's already been pictures of both of them on... Uh, alumni chat channel, and also, to, um, there's a, I know there's a Twitter for tomato and kidney, is there a Twitter for, uh, Corey? No. No, there's not, okay, well, there's pictures of Corey on our chat, but, uh, we'll eventually make sure that, that some of those get published so that everybody can see how they're doing. Uh, the short story is, though, they're doing great. Really, really great. Okay. Oh, wow, Okay. Well, we started off with a fun one. I love these Amazon gift bags. They are just the coolest thing. Oh, they're so they are. They're super cute, and we always end up using them too. Uh, we, uh, for the little ones like this, we just we use them to package out their gifts and re-gift. They're great for that. And for the big ones, they basically make great cat toys. Like you wouldn't believe it. Okay, it says in the note, this is for DJ to balance the t-shirt for Mr. A. Amazon didn't allow a card option for said shirt. Love to all, Lisa K. Oh, Lisa K. Oh, Lisa K. All right, let's take a look. Oh, okay. Wow, this is a t-shirt? It's so square. It's not. Oh, my God, Yuppie, you are going to lose it. You were going to lose it. This is awesome. It is Smallland, Small Land, <gasps> Swedish what? Small Land. It is the Swedish Doll's House. Oh, I know. No. And it is, uh, warning though, choking hazard, small parts. Okay, I want to choke on Do not them. choke on these. Do not eat these kittens. It is a set of little tiny toy cats and kittens with a basket for them to all sit in and a little tiny food bowl. It is adorable. This is so cool. I want to, can I see and it, please? You know, no, you know DJ loves things that are small, so she's going to think this is just the greatest if I let her see it, which I'm not going to do. Why? <laughs> she, she has murder in her eyes this morning, just generally. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Look at the tiny kitten in the basket. Oh, look at the little basket. Isn't it cute? That's so cool. Lisa K, thank you so much. That is just awesome. Wow. Completely awesome. Hey, do not drink my Americano. Those are my shots. I need those. These cute cat faces. They're little, like, little wet spots. I know. Little holes. <laughs> Can I take a picture of you looking at no, that? No, you can't. Come on. No, I just look Well, now you ruined it. No, you looked really Sorry. cute. DJ really likes that thing. Thank you so much, Lisa K. 
Okay, let's just go right down of the boxes. All right. I guess you'll put that on our display. Yes, so those get long. Yeah, they're very tiny, but they're adorable. Oh, okay. So, wow. <laughs> wow. Chris, uh, a.k.a. Leopard Spots. Uh, Leopard Spots. So, last week, we uh, started opening things that had come from Leopard Spots. And... Uh, they sent uh, just a ton of really cool stuff, like I said, including this air uh, purifier, which is awesome. It's really, really awesome. The air in this room is cleaner than anywhere else in the house, possibly anywhere else in the universe. Uh, oh my god. I know, I know, it's amazing. So, um, Leopard Spots also sent a bunch of other stuff, which we started opening in last week's mailbag. And I realized pretty quickly that it was leading up to something. Uh, a lot like uh, when my dad would give me Christmas presents and he would have me open a box. And in the box would be a controller for a console that I didn't even own. And then I would be like, Dad, you just ruined all of Christmas because I know what you got me. <laughs> so, so Leopard Spots has done exactly the same thing as my father here. Um, this is a... Bissell Home Care. Uh, it is a Bissell cleaning fluid um, for the carpets, and it's all part of this deep cleaner that we are really, really excited to open. This just showed up this week, and uh, wow, just leopard spots. I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry that uh, I just I, the words fail me. This is an amazing gift, and I now that the annex is clear, there's nobody in the annex, I cannot wait to use this deep cleaner in the annex. And I should mention that uh, the cleaning solution that you sent here that I just opened, there's two more of those that are in the kitchen that we opened last week, and I didn't mention it to anybody. So you sent three or three or more of those, plus the deep cleaner, plus all the other stuff. It's, it's really, it's incredible. I, I just... I don't know what to say, Leopard Spots, um, except thank you so much. I'm, I'm so excited to use this thing. Uh, and we'll get to it in a minute. We'll, we'll probably try to open it up here and at least have a look at it, but we're going to save that to last. Because first off, it's amazing, and secondly, it's pretty clear, I think, to everybody what's in the box. So, okay, let's go here. This is from... Uh, Bill. Bill. Yes, this is from Bill. There's obviously not going to be a note on it because they just shipped it in the package that it's in. It is an air purifier that Bill sent to us before Leopard Spot sent the big one. And uh, Bill says, why don't we put this in the annex? And I think that's a great idea. This is perfectly sized for the annex. Um, and I guess I don't have to open it because this is it. But uh, Bill also sent this, which, according to the box, is the Germ Guardian uh, Quantity 4 HEPA filters. So this is four extra filters for that, and that'll keep us going for quite a while. Um, Leopard Spots also did that and sent extra filters for the big air purifier, which is amazing. Um, that, that they would send that, I mean, uh, and the air purifier, too. And this, this purifier looks awesome. It's the exact same thing, actually, on the inside. I can see from the diagram here, they show a diagram where it's all broken up. It's a carbon filter and a HEPA filter, and then the fan, basically, that pulls everything through that. And that's the exact same way that the big one works. So it's just a small one that is exactly the same as the big one. I'm super... Super, super stoked about this. It's so cool. Bill, thank you so much. I, uh, thank you. Just, uh, you guys are all the best. And I can't believe that, that the two of you had the same idea at the same time to send us an air purifier. I just, it's so wonderful that all of you are looking for ways to help these kittens get over their URI the same as we are. Um, I just, I really appreciate everybody and everybody sort of coming together to, to make that happen. Thank you. Okay, 
Uh, we have a box here that is from Finland. I know. TJ's like, uh oh, this better not have any salmiaki in it. Let's see what we can do here. By the way, uh, DJ has not yet tried the Vegemite, but uh, we will, and we will let you all know how it goes. How does this box get open? This is such a strange box. Okay, I'm confused. I need more coffee. Didn't get enough sleep. No, now it's upside down. <sighs> now we got it. Good for me. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Hello, DJ and Mr. A. Okay to read on stream. Greetings from Finland. We have been following Kitten Academy since last spring, and we are hooked. On weekends, we watch all the close-ups together, and it's our Saturday evenings, including the mailbag. It's 6 p.m. here when it starts. It's fun to watch the everyday life of the wonderful and cute cats and kittens, and of course, with Elsie, too. We have a dog, a Finnish lap hund, called Chipsu. She's 13 years old. We're planning on having a cat or cats in the future since we've both had cats in our childhood homes. We're sending you cat treats and toys without forgetting Elsie. For you, there's Finnish chocolate, some Moomin products, and a Finnish newspaper for Mr. A. Wow. We wish... Oh, my goodness. Okay, we wish... Hiva Sykesa, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, I'm, I'm quite confident that I've said that incorrectly, uh, which translates roughly to happy fall to you and all the viewers. You're doing a great and wonderful job. Carry on. Love, Marjo, Auntie, and Tipsu the dog. Thank you so much, uh, Marjo. I assume Marjo? I, I hope that I'm saying your name right. I finish... What? Yes. Um, I don't think there's anything in here that will help you. Yeah, and there's an email address that might help. Um, Finnish, despite being uh, a language that is so similar to English in so many ways, is just impossible for me to understand, which makes this newspaper all the more fun <laughs> because it is in Finnish. Uh, wow. I'm excited to take a look at this, and also I'm excited because this makes a wonderful opportunity to try out Google's uh, Translate or uh, Google Lens or whatever they're calling it today. That is uh, Google's product where you can actually take something like this, point your phone at it, and your phone shows you, you know, what you're seeing, but it replaces all the words with English. It's amazing. That the, the future, the world that we live in today, I mean, we, we live in like a science fiction future right now. It's amazing. So, I'm excited about that. Also, the movement stuff is, uh, the movement stuff is going to be really fun, too. I, we got a movement uh, coffee mug, and I use it every day. Well, almost every day. We, we wash it once in a while. But I do love it. So, this is a Trixie brand, and it is a Hund, Hund Spielzug, which I assume means dog toy. Hund Spielzug. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's really cute. It looks like a uh, looks like the wolf that was in the uh, the Three Little Pigs story to me. Doesn't it? And I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Kitten treats. We have a gourmet seaside duo cat food. Wow, this, that's fancy. We have a 
two, sorry, two versions of meaty treats for cats. These look really cool, especially these. This one is apparently uh, dried chicken, chicken, and this one is, it says, rabbit, and it does say on the back the main ingredient is rabbit. Wow. I don't think our kittens have ever had rabbit, but they are totally, totally going to love it. Uh-oh. There's a note here that, that uh, oh, there's a, there's a note here, and I'm not sure what it was attached to because it apparently fell off, but I think it was attached to these treats. Here is the duck, oh, by the way. Duck, wow. That's some very fancy cat treats. Duck, rabbit. And then there's a note that says, does this picture remind of anyone? We wonder, has Ari told you everything? Because they do. They, the, the cat on these treats does look exactly like Ari. Wow. And then we have, oh, we have another one of these fancy foods, Chef's Collection, a la carte. And uh, I can't even tell what this is. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Party mix. <laughs> Cat. Ooh. Okay. Doggy dental sticks. Mel Dogson's snack heart. The coolest dog snacks ever. Mel Dogson's snack heart. Okay. Uh, we have a woolly mouse. We have a grumpy cat, don't call me fuzzy furball cat toy. What do you think of that, kids? Okay, wow. All right. Now we have a taste of Finland milk chocolate from the Carl Fazer. Fazer? Fazer? I'm not sure. I believe that is the same company that makes the Salmiaki, which I love so much. That's sarcasm, by the way. That stuff is amazingly bad. I don't know how Finnish people do it. Yes, K-A-R-L-F-A-Z-E-R. Oh, oh, this is too cute! This is, the, I guess, this is another Moomin mug. I don't know all the Moomin characters, but this is the perfect mug. It's the exact same size and shape as the one that we already have, but it is a kangaroo apparently holding a cat. That is so perfect. Look at this. It's like Roo holding a Roo. It is. It's like Roo holding a Roo. That's so cute. DJ, that's, that's too cute. It does kind of look like Roo. Also, there's some paper towels here who, that are something else. Um, so, it's weird what's interesting to people. I feel like the kid that is more interested in the box than the toy. But the, yeah, the paper towels that you wrap this mug in are apparently they're pictures of a house on the paper towel. And also, paper towels in the United States are a very standard size, and this is much smaller. It's just it's completely different. It's it's weird, like just the little things. Whenever you travel, it's the little things that make the biggest difference. The things that are almost familiar but different. Um, every time that I've been anywhere, those are the things that really get me the most. Those paper towels are just that. They're amazing. Okay, and one more thing in here. Oh, wow. Well, not exactly one more thing. <laughs> this is so cute. This is Moomin Valley. Moomin characters on uh, magnets. Okay, they are magnets. That's what I thought. So this is a little Moomin magnet set. It's adorable. And we have a Cats and Kittens Come Out and Play tin, which contains... Uh, no, it contains, and I'm going to have fun with this, it says it contains Zucker-Free Pfefferminz Pastelin. Um, that's my, my best chance. Uh, fortunately, it's also written in English, which apparently means sugar-free mint candy. Why did you just say that? <laughs> because it's so much fun to try it. Uh, it is, it, but the tin is what's adorable, I think, is the reason that it was sent. The tin says cats and kittens, and it's got some adorable little kittens on it with a ball of yarn, and it says come out and play. 
so cute. And finally, we have a Moomin Premium Key Ring with a couple of little Moomins on it, and one of them is holding what appears to be the flag. So cool. Well, I love it. You know, I, I need to take time out and watch the Moomin cartoons. I They feel so familiar to me. Like, I probably, they were probably on TV here when I was a kid, but like on one of those off channels, you know, where they put the foreign stuff. <laughs> I probably, I probably have seen them before because whenever I see them, they seem so strangely familiar. Um, so. Clearly that Moomin character on the on the bottom snip. Right. Well now I've got a matching well, sniffing it. I've got a not quite matching set of Moomin mugs. They're the same size and the same shape but two different characters and I like that. It's good. It's really cool. Is that all the mugs are in? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. yeah, if you're in Finland, is this the standard size and shape for a coffee mug? Because you guys have a thing where you do all the same stuff that we do in the States, but smaller. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just, I don't know. That's what I'm going for. Thank you so much for sending all this stuff. It's really cool. And uh, I'm, I'm uh, just thanks. I, today, words not happening very good. That's all. Um, but uh, it's really cool. So thank you so much. <laughs> and you, these kittens, I don't know why, they love this packaging that you sent this stuff in. All right, Tahini. Tiny Tahini. Here, here you go. You can note down the address and stuff in that. Let me trade you for this box. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, and this should stay like that, too. I really need it today. All right. Wah. Good. Okay. Moving right along. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I know who this is from. Dear Mr. A of DJ, for the sneezes and wheezes from Chris, a.k.a. Leopard Spots, on Discord chat. So, uh, Leopard Spots, you are dominating this mailbag and last week's mailbag all at the same time. It is phenomenal. So you sent uh, the regulars. Again, the, these, um, the air purifier has two filters in it. It's got a HEPA filter that blocks all the particles. And these carbon filters that sort of uh, treat the air, I guess, activated carbon, charcoal, whatever you want to call it. Yes, they absorb the smells. It is perfect for my farts. Oh, I'm sorry, the kittens. The kittens' farts. Farts are cute, though. Yeah, kitten farts are cute. Uh-huh. Uh, anyway, so this is a, we already got the HEPA filters. Those are in the kitchen. We opened those last week, I think, and here are the carbon filters. Thank you so much. Wow, you really hooked us up, though. I mean, seriously, that's incredible. Um, all right, moving right along. This is a very, very heavy package. I'm guessing it's another type of like cleaning solution. Yeah. Oh, you were correct. Yeah. Congratulations. I am for me. Oh, do you? Dear Mr. A and DJ, since you have that amazing new floor in the kitten room, I know it's too much, but really it isn't in the war on germs. From Chris, aka Leopard Spots. All right, wow. It is Bissell Eucalyptus Mint extends the life of your steam mop. Um, and this box right here says it is a steam mop. I just Oh my goodness, leopard spots. You, oh, oh, there's different, there's different flavors. Cool. This one is a citrus, and this one is a spring breeze. Three different flavors. Wow. 
Uh, leopard spots. What What do I even say? I, yeah, I don't know either. I hope, and, and let me let me say this not just to you, but to everybody who's watching. I, I hope that none of you overextend yourselves in sending us wonderful things. Um, that's all. That's it. Just you sent us so much leopard spots. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay, that thank you. Good. That's it. Good. Yes, so much. I, we, I'm super excited about this stuff, though. That that steam, the deep cleaner. I mean, wow! I'm so excited about that. I mean, not only the annex, but uh, our basement and our offices, and uh, uh, the, maybe even the rugs in the master bedroom. I think it's going to be awesome. All right. You need to be doing that where people can see you on the stream, Baba Ganesh, because it's too cute. I hope people can see that. Oh, now he's got away. He makes that noise. That's so cute. Yeah, he's got it. I know the girls in this class are just amazingly affectionate. They every time I sit down on the beanbag chair, they want to climb right up on me, and then they, they and get they on your that. face and they rub on your face and purr. Yeah, it's so oh, cute. cute. They're pretty great. Okay, this is a package from England. I'm going to save that. Let's open this big one. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, there's an address on the side of this. Can you? I, don't, I think it's too small of light for anybody to actually see it, but it's there. Good. Okay. I'm totally blocking the camera with the fox, and it's huge. Oh my goodness, I think I know what this is. Who is it for? I need, a, I need to find the note in here. Hang on. Let me put this inside so that you guys can still see what's going on. Okay, hang on. It says, oh no, there's a note that says what it is. Wait, 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 here it is. Okay, hang on. There's a note. Okay. It says, dear Mr. A oh my goodness. Dear Mr. A and DJ. A little extra warm for the kids when they need it. From Chris, aka Leopard Spots on the Discord chat. Leopard Spots, what is going on here? This is so cool. You know, um, so this is a heated cat bed. Oh my goodness. And I know exactly what it is because um, I've been looking at these online and we got one similar to this for Winnie and Gary. So you've seen a different, slightly different version of this from the same company, probably, on Wednesdays with Winnie and Gary. And here, now, we finally have our own. And it's amazing. These are so cool. This is a, this is a great cat bed. I don't even know where we're going to put this. DJ, do you know? In here, right? We could. Especially when it starts to get cooler in the, in the winter, this is going to be phenomenal. This yeah, is so cool. Wow. I just leopard spots. You went you went seriously all out. I Wow. Just wow. Okay. Alright, this is <laughs> I don't know what to do with all this stuff. They're already gonna climb in there? Okay. You can, yeah, I'd be interested to know how it works. We're going to have to put a cord cover on that, though. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, this is a, a good time to mention this, um, because it comes up once in a while. People will uh, email us or tweet us and be like, oh my gosh, the cats are chewing on that electrical cord. It's the end of the world. Um, or they'll be like, how can you have all those cords in the kitten room? Is that safe? And the answer is, yeah, it is. It's safe. Um, we have two different kinds of cords in the kitten room. 
And the ones that carry the, the line voltage, the 110 volts that we use here in the United States, we cover with plastic cable covers that no kitten so far has managed to get through. So we feel like it's pretty safe. They pull it off once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, but it does, it keeps them safe, and, and when they do pull it off, we put it right back on. Uh, so that's cool. And um, it, what I should do is take some extra tape. You know, I've always used electrical tape, but if it, probably if I use like duct tape or something, yeah, we can keep that end, end on. So I should do that. But I'll do that today. Even when they pull it off, they only play with the cover. Yeah. So, so we're, we're okay. We're cool. Um, then the other cables that are in the room are the ones that go to the camera. And those have a much lower voltage. Those are like five volts or something. Uh, that even if the kittens chew through it, it's not going to impact them in any way. So we figure the worst thing they can do to that is chew through it and and ruin the camera. Uh, you know, take take down the camera. That's fine with us. So uh, okay, okay, moving right along. Uh, this is this is a disaster in here. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you want me to get some of the boxes out? No, that's alright. These guys are having fun with this. Yeah, I mean, it looks ridiculous, but they, they like it. They just love that kind of mess. Don't you? Don't you, little hummus? You want to be part of a mess, buddy? Come here. Don't we want to try this? Warming up yet? Well, the, put, put your hand under the cover and see what it feels like. The bottom. It's the bottom of the thing that, that warms up, right? Yeah. Oh, it is the thing. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay. So I thought that the heat element would be in the green outside piece of this, but it's actually in the cushion that is removable. And then this just probably absorbs all of that. Yeah, it kind of keeps it, yeah. So cool. Wow. That thing is really nice. That's like classing up the room, uh, leopard spots. Thank you so much for that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. There's some water right outside. Okay, well, it starts with a letter, and the letter has um, stickers on it. The stickers are a basket of cats, and on the back we have stickers that are other little cats with a ball of twine, and uh, one's fishing in a fish bowl, which uh, is fun for the cat, but probably not so fun for the fish. And where is my letter opener? Right here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, cord cover. Okay, you just go straight to cover the cord. Do you know how to do that? Huh? I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve this problem. Well, so I'll give you a tip about putting the cord cover on. Is start um, backwards. If you turn that around and put it on the Why other. Why you do that? Okay, forget it. Forget it. I got this. <gasps> this is the cutest picture. Look at this. These little kittens kissing. And it says the picture is titled Kissing Kittens. Oh, goodness. Okay, there is a generous donation uh, paper clip in here. And it says, To everyone at Kitten Academy. I was thrilled to see you got my previous package. And I hope all the cats and Elsie enjoyed the treats I sent. Since then, I have become a member on Patreon as I wanted to support you with all the amazing work you do for all the mom, cats, and kittens. I know the past couple of weeks have been very stressful for Kitten Academy, but I hope brighter days are ahead and even more cats and kittens can be helped by the Academy. You are sincerely, Ashley from Weston uh, Super Mare, UK. 
I hope I'm saying that right. My mom was also a big fan and wanted to help out with a donation. So thank you to your mom for this very generous donation that's clipped in here. I'm going to put that aside because I have to show everybody your handwriting, which is amazing. Look at that. Wow. I know. That is some crazy handwriting. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, sending this, and thank your mom so much for this donation. It's very generous. Thank you so much. Um, now, there is more here in the box. Oh, boy. Nothing is working right for me this morning. The Paws Road Cat Tunnel. I love this this clearly photoshopped kitten uh, in the, the picture on the front of it. <laughs> so cute. I mean, the picture would have me believe that this cat's head is as big as the hole in this thing, and it is, it's not. That's not the way it works. But it's really cute. This is a great, this looks like a great tunnel. We will use this in here, I promise. That's wonderful. Thank you. That's the one we had. I think, I feel like we had one that was similar to this, but probably not that same brand. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> oh, the one that Panda used to carry around? Yes. Well, we had a kitten, Panda, that... Cat. Cat, sorry, yes, yeah, she was kitten sized. She was cl clinically small. And uh, we had a cat tunnel that was around the house, and she would take the, the ball that hangs in the cat tunnel and bring it to us with the cat tunnel attached. She would carry the entire tunnel, drag it up and down, up and down the, stairs. the stairs around the house. It was incredible. It was an amazing thing that she did. This little tiny, clinically small kitten, she couldn't have been five pounds. And she would carry, drag an entire tunnel up and down the stairs and all around the house to bring us that ball that was attached to it. it she was, she was ridiculous. What a wonderful kitten! All right, here we have a uh, chicken breast treats. We have a, a more so many treats. A Vita Cat filled pockets. My goodness. Um, and then we have a. A bag of what appears to be Webox brand uh, dog treats, chicken chips, and chicken chips. Yes, I, I don't know. They look good to me. Misfits, and but wait, there's more. Uh, premium rawhide natural twists and stuffed pork rolls. Wow, some of this stuff really sounds good to me. I should have had some breakfast. Uh, those those look great. Elsie is gonna love this stuff. Plus, <laughs> there's there's more. We also have Webox cat stick treats, and I don't know if we can get these in the states. I haven't had to look because people keep sending them. But these are awesome. The kittens, the cats love these these Webox treat sticks, and I love them too because they're such a convenient way to give a cat a treat. Um, so these these are great, and it's. It's been wonderful that so many of you have sent them. So, that, like I said, I don't even have to find out if we can get this stuff in the states. But I don't Your think. Knife that we can. This? What's that? Knife this? Uh, my real knife will. Good, good. Okay, DJ's covered that thing up with a cord cover, so we're in good shape. Oh, uh, in good shape. No, there's not here. I'll have to go looking for it. Plastered. No, I mostly got all the duct tape put back where it belongs now. Plastered. Plastered. Okay, he's got to go. Waffle, are you just making noises? Yes. Are you just making your noises? Is Custard being okay? He licked her a couple times after I called his name. Okay. Here we have the Just for Cats Super Colossal Toy Variety Pack. 
Six balls, three pom-poms, two mice, one fish with catnip, one wand baton equals 13 cat toys. Thank you. That's amazing. We have the stick worm teaser. Oh, this looks, this looks pretty cool, actually. Look at that thing. I bet the cats are really going to go for that. We have a meowie. Bring out the best in your... Uh, well, the toy covers up the rest of their little slogan. Uh, kitty. Bring out the best in your kitty feather wand. A Just for Cats catnip filled cat toys. And one more. Oh, this is adorable. Just for Cats, no dogs allowed, catnip filled. Pull my tail and watch me run. What? This is so cute. It, it kind of looks like one of those movements. Um, oh! You actually can pull its tail, and then it it vibrates. That's so cool. Oh, what do you think of that, Custard? He's not sure. He's not sure about that. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, this is some amazing stuff. And uh, especially these treats, they and Elsie's treats, she's going to love those. Custard wants to get into them right now. He's like, hey, I can be a dog if you give me some food. Yeah, I bet. I bet, buddy. Did I, did I give you the letter from this already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you. Wow. big stuff from leopard spots for the very end. So let's see what we got here. Can, can you guys see Baba Ganoush past me? Playing around in the box. He's just, just going nuts. I hope you can see that. Should I look? Can you look? Are you looking? Let me look. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Oh, now you come out. Yeah, I guess you can see a little bit. That's enough. That's enough. Eh. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. What is it? There's a note. It says... Hi, DJ and Mr. A. Please thank Elsie for her patience and gentleness with her young pupils. Your fans on the East Coast, the old broads who wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the old broads who wear glasses. Oh my goodness. That's got to be one of the best names that anybody has ever given themselves. So, uh, wow. I Wait, love you it. Don't think their parents name them that? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make that assumption. That's got to be the best name that any parent has ever given to their children. Uh, congratulations to you and to your parents, the old broads who wear glasses. Uh, you guys are awesome. So there's, I just threw those notes over to you, DJ. So apparently this is a gift set for Elsie, which contains, <laughs> among other things, a, uh, a Star Wars Kylo Ren dog toy, which uh, just like the real Kylo Ren is completely awesome until you remove the helmet and mask. Um, so I'm sure that will be the first thing Elsie does. <laughs> A Star Wars uh, chew bone that says, got Yoda on it, that says, chew this, you will. Just like Yoda would. I would do a Yoda imitation, except I can't. I've never... Everybody in the world has cultivated a perfect Yoda impression, except me. Um, but it says, chew this, you will. And then we also have a Jawa dog toy. This one's still in the wrapping for some reason, but I know what this is. It's a Jawa. And finally, we have a something in a gift bag. It says, a gift for you. 
Oh, and inside the note says the same thing. Hi, DJ and Mr. A. Please thank Elsie for her patience and gentleness with her young pupils. You are fans on the East Coast, the old broads who wear glasses. And yes, you can read this on the air. So, there we go. They say on the air, you know, and, and you put it in quotes, and I always kind of put it in mental quotes when I say on the air. Uh, that's one of those anachronisms now, because... You know, the YouTube, it's not broadcast, it's not over the air, it's not a uh, radio signal, it's all over the wire. I should say, on the wire, right? Maybe I'll, maybe, maybe I'll make this a thing, I'm going to make this a thing, on the wire. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on this. Uh, it's like when you call somebody on the phone, you still say, uh, dial, you know, I'm going to dial their number. There's no dial. There hasn't been a dial for such a long time. <laughs> what have you got there? What have you got? Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Elsie. This is the secret family recipe dogs love, jerky sticks. It is a Rocco and Roxy Supply Company small batch jerky sticks. So that is apparently, if somebody is in here coughing, it's uh, Baba Ganoush. And Custard is in there too. Okay. Baba Ganoush is just having a little cough. This is, this is awesome stuff. Elsie is going to love this. And if she was not a Star Wars fan before, she will be now. I mean, at least until she unmasks Kylo Ren. That was the most disappointing thing. Yeah, decoupage. <laughs> we were... So, apparently, when you, uh, when, you, when you pat somebody down to help them sort of cough like this, to get, get some of that stuff out of their lungs, they call that coupage. But when we were at the vet, and when I was at the vet the other day, our vet said, uh, you know, you can give your cat a little decoupage, <laughs> which is, a, that's a whole other thing, decoupage. I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll put little pieces of paper and glue on the cat. That'll help. Uh, okay. Oh, get it out there. Wow. Okay. The old broads who wear glasses. Thank you so much. Elsie thanks you, and I thank you. And you still have the coolest name, and I'm going to put all your stuff right here in this bag. These bags are great. Do you want to put this in there, too? Sure. I'll put this with the twins. Fair enough. Awesome. Okay, well, we're getting down to the, to the end of it. And I hope you guys can see how much fun these kittens are having. Uh, let's see what this is. And then we'll get into that last packages from Leopard Spots. Despite appearances, this is not a dropship package. This is a recycled Amazon box, which we greatly approve of. That is a wonderful way to use your Amazon shipments. Wow. There's some cool stuff in here. I'm going to move it out of the way so that you can continue to watch these cats going nuts. There is a card, and it says, OK to read on the stream. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> and the card has a little puppy and a cat together on it. It's very cute. And inside, it has an address that I'm not going to show anybody. Plus, it says, Mr. A and DJ. Hello and good morning. After seeing the adoptions this past weekend, I thought these bags might come in handy. I saw all the Kitten Academy bags a couple of weeks ago, but thought more bags might be useful because kittens go home with so many goodies. I had previously sent in blankets for Rue's family and Baba Ganoush. So, included are blankets for the rest of the Persians, tomato, kidney, and future students. The tea bag toys are for the faculty, so they can have tea with DJ. Flat mice are for kittens. Thanks again for all you do, Julia. P.S. I was so glad to find how DJ loves pumpkin spice. I have it added to chai lattes instead of coffee. So yummy. Julia, um, so first off, yes, 
DJ is a huge fanatic of the PSL at Starbucks and waits for this time of year with anticipation uh, all year. She's ready for this. And then when it happens, it's great. Uh, I was at Starbucks yesterday with DJ before the mailbag, and I discovered that they officially have put on their menu the pumpkin spice chai. So that's a thing. You you started a thing, apparently. Um, it's, it's really cool. It's right there on the menu. And at least at our Starbucks, I don't, I don't know. Um, these bags are so cute. So these have two kittens on them, and they say here, they say, Happy Home with two adorable kittens on them, and they're very nice bags. These will be perfect for adoptions. And we've got another set of the same bags. They all have two kittens on them, but I guess different two kittens. Interesting. And then we have inside, oh my goodness. So first off, we have the Pet Links tea bag that says, time for catnip kit tea. Kit T, spelled T E A, Kit T. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. And then we have uh, two of these skinny mice. These things are always a hit. Yeah, I mean, perpetually one of the best cat toys that you give for your cat. It doesn't seem like much. Flat mice, it seems like a thing you might be like, why would a cat go for a flat mouse? But they, they do. These, these things are the bomb. See what I mean? Custard's already like, I want that. Custard, you have one upstairs. Okay, and then inside we have so many blankets, so many. This one has cats and it says, I love cat naps. Wow, Julia, you, you went all out. This one has a funky pattern on it, sort of a retro pattern. Okay, these two are untied so that they would fit in the box, presumably. I, I know, I know. Look, here we've got one with paw prints. And a similar color, uh, oh, this, they're both, these are the same. They have paw prints and hearts. And then we've got two here that have a funky, um, sort of paisley type pattern, I guess, sort of, semi-paisley. And we've got one here that has paw prints and, I'm going to call them poker chips. I don't think they are. They're just little circles with designs, but they're poker chips. Oh, we've got two of those. Same here. Yes, hang on. Oh, that's why you always leave a note with DJ. And then we've got another one of those funky retro designs. And another one of the cats, the pink cats. So two of each blanket type. These are phenomenal, Julia. Thank you so much. I love, love, love putting these blankets in people's bags when they go. They're just the, the best thing for the kittens. They're so soft and uh, really, 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 really wonderful. So thank you. Wow, they're great. They are. They're great. They're, they're, these the blankets like this are so nice. They're just. I mean, they're they're like. Yeah, they're all so stuffy. Yes, they're polar fleece, and they make like the perfect thing to line a cat bed, or when somebody's traveling with the kitten to uh, to put like uh, in their cat carrier. They're great. We almost always have one of these in the bottom of our cat carrier when we are taking them to the vet. So thank you, Julia. Those are going to go so well to the kittens that get adopted. And the bags, too. They're great bags. Very thoughtful. Okay. So finally, <laughs> we arrive at this incredible incredible stuff that Leopard Spot said. I mean, just so many things. So incredible. I don't even know what this is. I know what the other thing is. This says it is a Power Fresh Steam Mop. And uh, I don't know exactly what that means. And uh, there we go, my knife. I don't know where my knife is either. Let's find out. I suspect this is for cleaning the floors in here that are not carpet. fancy too. It comes with Spring Breeze Fragrance Discs. I don't know how you put that into a steam mop, but apparently the steam mop has a spot where you put in a fragrance disc. What do you know about that? 
PowerFresh Steam Mop User's Guide. Well, all right, I don't have to bore all of you by going through the user's guide with you, but this thing looks really exciting. And here you can see a picture of what, what it actually is. It's a Steam Mop. And uh, I feel like there were some of the replacement heads for it in a previous package that we opened, right? Wow. This thing looks serious. Like, I'm going to, this is going to really, really clean stuff up. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leopard Spots. I just, I really don't know what to say, honestly. Um, but that's super cool. And even more fun, obviously, is, uh, is this BG pen. The big green is what the BG stands for. Big green deep cleaner. Wow, that thing's crazy. <laughs> DJ's making a like a like a cheering motion over there. I guess you probably can't see her, but she's Steve Holt. <laughs> Steve Holt. She's really excited about this thing. I'm super excited about it too. The big green. I mean, that just it just sounds awesome, doesn't it? Oh, I want to take a look at it. I can let you guys do too, but uh, I am probably not going to get it all out because. I want to do it right. Oh, and it is really, it's really packed in here, but wow, this thing is serious. Like, we've had some carpet cleaners before. Our carpet cleaner, by the way, our last one got all jammed up, and uh, it, it, it has been disposed of some time ago. So, uh, this, though, this is not a carpet cleaner. This is the real deal, like a steam cleaner for carpets. This is a deep cleaner. This is not just this is not just the, the little carpet cleaner that we've had before. This is the real serious big green commercial thing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh, warning. To reduce the risk of fire and electric shock due to internal component damage, make sure you use only the official Bissell cleaning fluids intended for use with a deep cleaner. Non-Bissell cleaning solutions may harm the machine and void the warranty, and it's strongly implied non-Bissell cleaning solutions may just kill you and burn your house down. <laughs> so make sure you only use the official Bissell cleaning solutions because the, the consequences of using anything else in this machine are dire. Wow. These guys are serious about making sure you only buy their products. Wow. I'm, this, is, this is really seriously cool, though. Leopard spots, I don't... I still don't know what to say. Thank you so much. This is incredible. Your generosity is amazing. And all of you, you know, I don't, I don't want to just focus on leopard spots because everybody is is wonderful, and you guys have sent so so many amazing things. Um, so thanks. I guess that's all I have to say. Is thanks. <laughs> little little Tahini is throwing this heart around. Stop dragging my heart around, Tahini. Well, I think that's everything. We finally made it through. It is 11 o'clock, so only two hours worth of mailbag, but spread out over two days. We'll get the archives of the mailbags up online. I've been recording them uh, locally, so we'll maybe even mash them together into one long video and just upload that. We'll see. Uh, that would be a fun way to do it. What else? Is there any other news that people need to know before we go? Our plan um, for these kittens, by the way, is uh, that we're going to see them get over the URI, and then we're going to see about getting them fixed and have their graduation. So there's no graduation scheduled for these kittens. They could be here for years at this rate. We'll see. Yeah. Well, so we do have an approved adopter for falafel. Approved? Approved for falafel. 
and I'm told that there's a, a potential for Baba Ganoush, and then the other one's still nothing, which amazes me because Tini is wonderful. Um, they're all wonderful. I think they are. I really, uh, yeah, I think they are. It's, you know, it, it breaks my heart to see them all sniffly and coughing and, and sneezing, but I feel like they're finally starting to, to like, get over it. We're, I think we've, we're past peak URI, and we're on the way to, to being perfectly good again. That's, that's my thought. I see that somebody's been messaging me, and I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> There's a... <laughs> There's a, a relevant quote from Snowy on the chat. It says, people tend to be more compliant when they are on fire, which uh, I think it relates to the cleaner. Um, just, you know, it will set us on fire if we don't do the right thing. There's also folks saying someone apply. Uh, Coco's, Coco and Chili, Chili's adopter, is saying, someone apply for tahini and hummus, you monsters. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, that seems completely appropriate and correct. Leopard Spot says, you are welcome, Kitten Academy and DJ. You deserve the best for what you do. Well, you still went all out. It's, it's seriously too much, and thank you so much. <laughs> Hello Pizza puts it succinctly. Non-Bissell cleaning solutions are profitable to companies other than Bissell. So please be sure to only use our products or we'll burn your house down. Oh, nice. Yes. That's exactly how it is. Is it? Is it warm? I'm on the inside. I'm on the inside. Do you want to sit in this country and just sit out? He looks like he's fine on the cardboard box. He's like, hey, it's warm enough in here. I'm wearing a fur coat. Wait until winter. Aw, Winnie still has her flat mouse from when she was at Kitten Academy. Look at that. That's so cute. It's completely trashed, though. <laughs> For those of you that are not on the chat, that is Winnie's flat mouse that she brought with her from Kitten Academy. Those flat mice really do it. Well, oh, here's one more thing I'm going to share with you folks. For the ones that are not on the chat, uh, it appears that Pinto and uh, Corey are finally getting along and chilling out. I hope you guys can see that. They are. They are still alive. They also snuggle now. That's so cute. That little snuggly is so, so cute. great to see them together and having a good time. Okay, well, that's it for Mailbag, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for everything that you have sent. You guys are just amazingly generous. Uh, I feel like I forgot to put the address on the screen today, but it was on the screen yesterday, so when I mash them together and publish it, it will be fine. Everything's cool. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. I never know how to end this stuff, you know, like on a bag. I just, it kind of fizzles out. I always just fizzle out at the end. Sorry. You should do a little kitten hug or something. A kitten hug? Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Hug as many kittens Whoop. as you can at once. At once? Yeah, let's just make that. I don't think I can hug all these kittens at once. They're too running around right now. They're yeah. just too yeah. active. Look, they're like, don't hold me. Don't, don't hold me. I've got too much going on. Oh, oh, okay. Come here, Falafel. That's three. Okay, three is good. Three is good for Jay. Oh, oh, I had a custard. I had too many. Uh, help! Oh, he's dead. I got you, Jay. Okay, I got you, buddy. Come here. Come here, Costa Rooney. Hey, big guy. You are such a snuggle bunny. Okay, that's the mail then. Okay, that's it. Thanks, everybody. It is, yeah, I hope. This thing is amazing. Wow, the big green. Can That's, you put it in the ads? I have always wanted a like a real carpet cleaner, not like those little wimpy carpet cleaners that we've had. And this is the real deal. Oh wow, and it's also really heavy. Alright.
standing at the gate by the kitchen just waiting for her chance to get into her dog toys that arrived today. I think those are, some of those are in this bag. I'll give it to her right now. Elsie. Elsie, I'm telling you, when you take the mask off of Kylo Ren, it's completely disappointing. Just don't do it, okay? I was saying on the chat, um, so this, somebody started a creepy reindeer uh, Twitter account, by the way, which is brilliant. I just, I can't, Kitten Academy fans, I don't know who is behind the creepy reindeer account, um, but you guys are the best. I just, I love all the stuff that you do. The sounds of Kitten Academy Twitter account is also brilliant. The ants of Kitten Academy Twitter account, we don't do any of those. I want to, just to be clear, none of those are us. Those are all fans and they're all brilliant. Uh, I was saying on the chat that the creepy reindeer has a girlfriend and uh, we used to have it here and I think it went home with one of the adopters who got adopted. So he's all alone now. That's probably why he's so creepy. Spots is sending me instructional videos on how to use the big green. That thing is amazing. Thank you, Leopard Spots. You guys, uh, and when I say you guys, I mean everybody who has sent us stuff, we just went all out lately to get these kittens to be all sanitary. We got the Purell outside of the rooms now, like we're real pros. We got the big green, like we're real pros. We got the uh, air purifier. Uh, 
the carpet, the floor cleaner, I mean, not just the carpet cleaner, uh, just all the stuff. It's it's really wonderful. It, it's it's just great how much everybody cares and the, the creativity that you guys have shown in uh, sending us stuff to use. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's really fantastic. Elsie, custard, stop eating the kitten food. You're big enough. Yeah, yes you are. Elsie, take your Kylo Ren.
So we don't. Okay, good enough. 